to explain why the Earth has seasons. I will be using this grapefruit to symbolize the sun and this tennis ball to symbolize the Earth. This is terribly not to scale at all. For this to actually be to scale with this tennis ball as the Earth, I'd have to use a 24-foot U-Haul moving van to be the sun, and it had to be 0.4 miles away, and I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm way, way too lazy to do that. So we all know the Earth rotates and revolves around the sun, but most people think it's hot in summer because the Earth gets closer to the sun. But how do you explain that when it's summer in California, it's winter in Australia? See, the seasons have nothing to do with Earth's distance to the sun. It has to do with the tilt of Earth's axis. See, this Earth doesn't spin like this. It spins on an angle, 23.5 degrees to be exact. So let's let this fancy colored pencil symbolize the sun's rays. So you can see that right now, the sun hits the northern hemisphere more directly than the southern hemisphere. That means it's summer up here and winter down here. As the Earth revolves around the sun and winds up over here, now the sun is heading more directly down here. So now it's summer down here and winter up here. So to summarize, the tilt of Earth's axis in one word is awesome. If it was zero degrees, there'd be no seasons. And if it was 90 degrees, it would take one year for just one day to go by. 23.5, baby, you rock. Thank <laughs> you.